Danny Acosta for Fight Magazine here with UFC welterweight contender John Fitch. John, you've got a big fight coming up with Thiago Alves at UFC 17. You're in the co-main event. How does that feel? Dude, it's awesome. Uh, being co-main event in uh, Oakland, you know, I'm a Bay Area guy. Uh, it's going to be huge. I've bought about 90 tickets myself that I'm uh, giving out to people and selling. So, uh, super excited for this event. Are you giving away any via Twitter? I uh, I don't know. We have so many people here at the gym who who, who want to go. I want to make sure we get uh, all my all the people here at AKA taken care of, and then all all my uh, 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 fiance's family and people taken care of first. And if we have some extras, then maybe we'll give some away. Is that at Fitch Fighter? Uh, yeah, at Fitch Fighter on Twitter. You can also check me out uh, my official official John Fitch on YouTube. We got a lot of videos up on that. Gotcha. And Tiago Alves is someone you've met before. Can you uh, walk us through the first fight and how that went for you? Um, yeah, you know, the first fight, it came out through a, through a lazy leg kick. Uh, I have been known to do that a few times. Uh, and, he, and he caught me with a hook, sat me on my butt real quick. Uh, I sat up, gave him the neck, trying to bait him in to, to finish with a choke. Uh, early in my career, people, people really didn't know how hard it was to choke me. Uh, so he was foolish enough to take it, which gave me an easy takedown. And then it was just a ground up on onslaught uh, until, until I ended up finishing it in, in the second round. And do you feel that that fight has any impact on this, or do you feel you're both completely different fighters? If the fight was four years ago, you can't really, you know, I can't really take anything I did four years ago seriously today. So, um, you know, I'm looking at this as a brand new fight, and I'm fighting a brand new fighter. This is a, a series coming up for AK that's pretty big. You're in the coming event, and then you have teammates Josh Koscheck and Kane Velasquez coming up in title fights. As the team captain, do you feel, you know, an obligation to perform it and set the tone for the rest of the gym? Uh, you know, I, I always want to want to lead through example with my team. You know, I'm not always the most vocal person, but yeah, I want to get out there, get the job done, uh, and, and you know, set the standard and set the pace for for uh, both Kashik and, and Kane to get out there and, and uh, do as well as I did. Uh, do you feel this fight with Thiago Alves, should you defeat him, will put you in the number one contender spot in the welterweight division? I, I think I've been in a, the number one contender spot uh, since before the GSP fight. I don't think I've had any reason to be taken out of that position. Um, so another one here I don't think gets me any closer, but um, you know, it's definitely a big fight and it's important for me to win this fight. Because you've already defeated Thiago Alves, do you feel this progresses your career or, or do you feel kind of it's a more risk than reward? No, it's, it's absolutely with Progressive because of uh, where a lot of people look at where Tiago is right now because of uh, the way he's been fighting and the, and the people he's beat in the, in the past few years. Uh, it's definitely something that will leap, leap me forward. Um, I'm just saying that uh, I've, been, I've already been the number one contender and I, I've been here for a while. Um, should Josh Koscheck defeat Dorsey and Pierre and, and you get past Tiago Aves, is that something that's on the table for you? Uh, you know, you guys have said in the past that you'd only fight for the title. No, we, we've uh, discussed this. I've spoken about this in other interviews. If Koscheck is able to defeat George St. Pierre, um, I'm sure there's going to be an automatic rematch. Uh, George has been too dominant of a champion for them not to grant him that. Um, so you're talking about another year of, of, of fighting there. Um, I'll, by that time, have fought and probably everybody in the weight class of 170. Um, and then uh, at our gym, we think it's a much better idea to have three world champions than two and have, have two guys fight each other. So I would be moving up to 85. Is that something that you, you're excited about, or would you like to stay at welterweight? Uh, you know, I have unfinished business. I think even if uh, Koscheck beats uh, St. Pierre, I'd like to get a rematch, even non-title. Uh, I want to get that, w that loss off my record. Um, but yeah, you know, we'd rather have three uh, AKA world champions than two. Uh, the, the big thing with John Fitch is, uh, you know, when is John Fitch going to finish a fight? So is, is that something you're going to be looking for uh, in this fight, or is it just... I think the problem in the last few fights is that that's been the focus, and I think it has a lot to do with, like, being a home run hitter. And you're going out there and you're trying to rip a home run every time, it doesn't happen. Um, so I'm just going to go in there and uh, put the grind on him, uh, be aggressive, and, uh, you know, uh, what happens, happens. And how do you tend to put a uh, muzzle on the pit bull? Um, uh, righty and lefty. <laughs> Are you going to enter in a I Hella Love Oakland shirt? Uh, you know, I think after this fight, I think Two Short's new favorite word is going to be Fiat. <laughs> UFC welterweight contender John Fitch.